we got a lot of sisters over here. What's your name? My name is Laverne. Laverne, all right. Laverne, Shanae. Shanita. Shanita. Jay. Laverne, Shanae, Shanita, Jay. All right. First Timothy chapter 2. You got what I want? We're going to bring that out. We're going to go through some scriptures for the sisters, all right? What are we doing out here? We're teaching God's laws, thus saith the Lord. All right? We're teaching God's laws, thus saith the Lord. Come close. I need y'all to see some of these signs up here. All right? Come close, come close. All right? It's okay. It's all right. Yeah. Modest apparel. All right. all right, read what you got. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. All right, who out here believes in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? Everybody believe in the Bible? Okay, we're going to read some information for you, all right? Read what you got. Verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. All right. Somebody get me modest in the dictionary. I like dictionary.com. All right, so read that again. In like manner also, the women are doing themselves in modest apparel. All right, so we're reading out the Bible, right? And the Bible tells us that the women, right, are instructed to clothe themselves. That's what adorn means, right? With modest apparel. Modest is a description of the type of clothes you're supposed to put on your body. Y'all following me? All right, so, Laverne, what does it mean to be modest? To be what? Modest. What does the word modest mean? Help me out with that. Y'all come close. You got to go? Okay. Come close, sister. Tell me your name again. Laverne and Sherry. J. J, okay. All right, so modesty is what, sister? You know, when you come together and you pray, and you have to be somewhere for you to hear God. I'm going to try Jay. Jay, read the scripture again. Keep the Bible open. Come on. In like manner also, that women are doing themselves in modest apparel. So the Bible says that women should have this type of clothes on their body. And the way these clothes are described is as being modest. All right? It says, have modest clothes on your body, women. You understand? All right, so what I'm asking is, what does the word modest mean? Because if you don't know what modest is, you won't know what type of clothes or how to dress yourself when you come out the house. Y'all following me? Yeah, so we're gonna read it out. We're gonna read it out the uh, out the dictionary. All right, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna read it for you. Read what you got. Dictionary.com. All right, so Laverne, you said come as you are, right? We'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. You said come as you are, but right now, what are we reading? Modest in the dictionary. Right? Because the Bible the Bible says women needs to adorn themselves in modest apparel. Right? So we need to learn what modest apparel is, alright? Read what you got. Dictionary.com. Come on. Modest. Having or showing a moderate or humble estate of one's merits, importance, etc. Free from vanity, egotism, boastfulness or great pretensions. All right, read that first part again. Having or so or showing moderate, humble estimate. Read that part. Matter of fact, read uh, number three. Number three, having or showing regard for the decencies of behavior, speech, dress, etc. cetera, Dec uh, decent. Right, so to, uh, to be modest, right? You're not going to be extravagant in the way that you dress. You're not... Say it again. Oh, that's what you got from the definition, right? You have to cover yourself up. Everybody understand that? So when you're dressing modestly, right? I shouldn't be able to look at you and just see all your curves. You understand? See everything that you're working with, right? But today, the way the Zonovan, read, read in the Zonovan. So this is another, this is the uh, the compact, uh, a Zonovan compact Bible dictionary. We're going to read the definition out of here. The same word, all right? Modesty. Read what you got. The Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. Women's dress. The women wore long garments reaching almost to the feet. Right, so that means you couldn't even see that. It wasn't a high, a high dress or a high skirt, right, where I could see your knees. You understand? It came all the way down to about your ankles to cover your, cover your whole legs up, all right? But today, our women like to show their legs. We like to, the, our sisters like the splits on the dresses. Am I wrong? Am I right or am I wrong? I don't go to church like that. I'm just saying, but... 
when you go to the gas station, you see sisters walking in and walking out, and what type of dress they wear? The ones with the high, high, high splits on it. Am I right or am I wrong? Yeah. Yes, that's what they're wearing, all right? So who are we talking about? Our people, the nation of Israel. I'm gonna show an example, a picture. Okay, go ahead. That's a, a righteous picture, right? That's a righteous picture of what we, of the type of dress we should have on today. Can you see that sister's legs? Can you see her thighs? Can you see her backside? No, you can't see any of that, all right? Why? Why is that important? Why is that important? So, so that sister uh, is, so that she can preserve herself for her husband, right? It should be some sanctity, some sanctity there for her husband. It should be uh, a, a part of her that's specifically for the man that she's going to marry, all right? And then at the right time, that, that can be revealed to him and him only. Are, you understand what I'm saying? But today we walk around and there's no value for ourselves today, right? We, 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 ex we, we let everybody know what we're working with. And then what does that breed? What does that attract? Some niggas, all right? So then you, you get married, right, to, uh, to somebody, right, and they're not treating you right. Or they, they have sex with you and they leave, they out, right? They're not standing there to take care of the children, to teach you, to, to guide you the right way. You understand what I'm saying? So just the things that you wear can determine the whole course of your life. You understand? Just by what you're putting on your body when you wake up. All right, so if you really want to be successful and prosperous, right? If you really want to to uh, to have good favor from God, then there's some things that you need to do to set yourself up for success, and that's gonna start with what? Dressing yourself modestly. Take it, being mindful of what you're putting on when you're getting dressed in the mirror. You understand? You gotta you gotta be mindful of those things. All right, read what you got in this article. Women wore long garments reaching almost to the feet with a girdle of silk or wool, many times having all the colors of the rainbow. So, so our women dress nice. They jazz themselves up, they had the earrings, they had the, 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 the bracelets, you understand, the, the, the head pieces, so on and so forth, right? So there's a, a, a don't, just like the brother showed you in the picture, you can have a nice dress, a beautiful, gorgeous dress, right? But guess what, it's gonna cover yourself. It's going to prevent you, all right, from attracting someone you really don't want to marry, all right? The people you're going to attract dressed that way, do they want to marry you or do they just want to see what you're working with? Most of the time, they just want to what? They want to see what you're working with. You understand? So read that in the Bible. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter they 2, verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Read on. With shamefacedness. With what? Shame. Faceless. All right, so shame faceless. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.